So welcome to this session. Uh, obviously, it's students and parents and families uh, as part of this session, which is not always the case here during summer preview. Um, this session is called Find Your Selfie. And we're going to explore a little bit about what we mean by that as we get into this session. But you're going to hear from a few of us from some very different parts of campus. So a quick introduction. My name is Kyle Lyric. I met families and parents a little earlier this morning. I'm the director of campus ministry um, here on campus. I come from a small town in the Panhandle of Nebraska, 400 miles straight west, called Alliance. It's the home of Carhenge, 9,000 people and dropping. Every time I go back to visit family, the number on the population sign coming into town keeps getting smaller. Um, I came to Creighton as an undergrad uh, a few years ago, uh, studied in the College of Business, got to go off and do some volunteer work with the Jesuits after graduating in a country called Micronesia, um, and then eventually found my way back here after living in the Bay Area of California for about 10 years. So it's really good to be back. Uh, I'll get to talk a little bit more about what I do in campus ministry a little bit later in this session, but I'll turn it over to my colleagues so they can introduce themselves. Hello, everyone. My name is Steve Woida, and I am the Director of Recreation and Wellness here at Creighton. Uh, I've been at Creighton for about 13 years in a variety of different capacities. Um, all of which are somewhere in that, that fitness, strength and conditioning, wellness realm. So I oversee everything from group fitness classes, personal training, uh, our club sports program and intramural sports program, as well as massage therapy, nutrition services, et cetera. So um, and I'll turn it over to Anya. Um, hello, everyone. My name is Anya Viatoro, and I'm the assistant director for the Creighton Intercultural Center. Um, I just started at Creighton actually back in December, um, moved most recently from Boston. I'm originally from California, and I have a very much newfound empathy for transition and experiencing new things and new places. Um, and so I'm, I'm excited to be able to start my first full year at Creighton with uh, your class. Um, a little bit about what we do at the center, um, at the Intercultural Center. Um, we hope to provide inclusive spaces for people to engage in conversations about identity, um, exchange ideas, and cultural um, experiences. Um, we also house the Lieben Center for Women um, and provide programming around gender and issues around gender and women's leadership, things of that nature. Um, and we offer commuter lounge space and resources. We have a kitchenette and study spaces um, for our commuters to be able to take some time, build community in between classes um, if they're not living with us here on campus. So we really offer quite a bit for everyone and we hope to, to see you around in our space um, as the year starts. So, um, I get to continue and help frame uh, why you're here at a session titled uh, Finding Your Selfie. Um, so this morning, my understanding is you've, you've gone through quite a few sessions already. Um, you went to one on uh, school spirit, uh, the Blue Jay, kind of life as a Blue Jay overview. You had uh, some Jesuit mission. You've had a chance to go talk to the academic schools and learn about that. All that pretty standard makes sense. And now you're here at finding your selfie. Um, so you're going to have to work with us on some symbolism here with that. Um, and we hope to frame for you the different experiences and access to opportunities to engage uh, holistically at Creighton and grow your learning um, and your sense of self um, through the experiences that we offer. Um, one way to do that could be to uh, ask Siri, right? That may be beyond my abilities at the moment. So Siri cannot help us with how we find ourselves. Um, and quite frankly, I don't know that we will have given you the full answer um, through, this, uh, through this presentation, but we hope that we can frame a way for you to look at your approach to how you experience Creighton. The title of Finding Your Selfie is a little bit tongue in cheek in the sense that it's not just about those images captured, but who are the people in those pictures with you? What do those experiences mean? What, how are you gonna learn and grow for them? Um, and we have an activity um, to help us get started on that reflection process and thinking about transition challenge and growth that you might experience at college for both the students that are here and the families. Um, so a little bit of more symbolism for you. The reason that we have you separated here um, in terms of families in the back, students in the middle, and us here up front is 
Um, we represent uh, the uh, various professional staff available at Creighton to help guide you through your experience here in your four plus years that you might have. Um, your families are sitting behind you because they'll have your back through this whole process even though they're not here along the way with you. Um, and you get to be here navigating it all. So with that, I'll hand it over to, to Steve to facilitate our activity. All right, so everyone had. <laughs> everyone should have received a, a piece of paper. I'm gonna ask our summer preview friends to come up here. We're gonna do a little bit of a snowball activity. So students, we're gonna ask you to crumple up those pieces of paper and we're gonna ask you to throw them down to our summer preview leaders in the blue shirts. Throw them hard. Throw them hard. Uh, if you notice the piece of paper drop next to you, please advance it forward. Family members, I'm sorry, we're gonna do something a little less fun. We're just gonna pass the bucket up there. Um, so this will randomize everything. We're gonna collect these and then we're gonna pass them back. Everyone should also get a sheet of paper back in their hands. It should look different than the one that you threw up there. So as they start passing them back, hold your hand up if you haven't gotten one once they start passing them back. Here you go. Keep your hand up so we can make sure you get one. If some drop around you, please pass them on to somebody who doesn't have one. Look around your feet. Look around your feet in case they dropped so we can make sure everyone gets one. A few more up top. Please look around your feet if you... Please advance them to someone with their hand up if they if you're missing any. One more check around your feet. Looks like we might be missing a few. If you see any, please hold it up so we can get it to somebody who doesn't have one. Do we see any missing around us underneath our seats? Everyone got everything? If you can, please look around your seats and see if we're missing any. No? All right, we're going to go ahead and get started with this activity. So a little frame of reference here. Uh, we're we're going to do, we did this snowball activity to one, hopefully address some of the questions that you've already read and answered um, to give a little context of what are the various experiences that everyone's coming into uh, this room today? What are you going to bring to to campus in August with you? Because we're all unique individuals that are that are bringing a lot of different experiences. And those experiences help guide who we are as individuals. Um, and they'll, uh, they'll guide what kind of experience we have moving forward as a freshman or first year student here at Creighton. So I'm gonna start with the students here. I'm gonna ask anyone that has a yes on the piece of paper in front of them to please stand up. So hopefully this is randomized. Ah, just ra I'll, I'll, I'll read off the questions. Very ambitious group. <laughs> Very, you failed. The, First test. Fail. I love the enthusiasm. All right, so question number one. Question number one for the students. I am nervous about what the transition to college will be like. If it's answers yes, please stand up. 
Wow. A vast majority of you are standing. So we have a lot of, a lot of freshmen, a lot of incoming students that are nervous about this transition. All right, very good. Sit down. Second question. Number two, at least one member of my family represents some form of minority classification, be it due to ethnicity, sexual orientation, or religious affiliation. If the answer is yes on the sheet of paper you're holding, please stand up. So we got a good turnout here. That's, that's strong. Very good. You can sit down. Question three, I participated in varsity sports in high school. If the answer is yes, please stand up. Wow, another strong showing here, well over 50%. Very good, we can sit down. Fourth question, I plan to have an on-campus job my first year at Creighton. If the answer is yes, please stand up. Very good, you can sit down. Another strong showing. And then the last one, change scares me. If the answer is yes, please stand up. This is probably the closest one to 50-50 that I've seen. So very good. Students, you can sit down. We're going to do the same thing with our, with our families. I'm going to ask you to stand up if the sheet of paper that you're holding has a yes on this. So first question to the families. Do you feel like your student is prepared to live independently at college? Students, take a look yes. at this. Keep in mind, students, that this is not your family member that's standing. It's someone else's piece of paper. But nonetheless, a good amount of, of parents are standing. Not all of them, though. So there's still some work to be done. Very good. We can sit down, families. Second question, do you feel like your student is prepared to have difficult conversations? If the answer is yes, please stand up. Very good. Again, I feel like a majority of people are standing, but not quite everyone. Very good. You can take a seat. Third question for the families. Are you nervous about your student transitioning to college? If the answer is yes, please stand up. A little less. Fewer people are nervous about their student. Very good. You can sit, sit down. And last one for the families, change scares me. If the answer is yes, please stand up. Far fewer. A, a few people are nervous about change. You can sit down. Thank you. We'd probably expect that coming from the families, right? Parents, family members have probably experienced more in their life, so they've probably experienced more change. They're used to handling whatever comes at them. Students, we had more people standing for the change scares me because you've inevitably handled less change in your life or fewer changes, but everyone has different experiences coming into this. Um, some of you have probably handled great deals of change where, while others have not. So we're going to talk through how those experiences kind of shape and form uh, where you're at and where you're coming into and how we can learn and grow from those. So. As the Director of Recreation and Wellness, I'm going to talk about how do we become the best version of ourselves as a, as a first-year Creighton student and walking into this Creighton experience. So a few, few different things here that I'm going to talk about. First and foremost is taking that opportunity to learn and grow from all the experiences and the new friendships and learn and grow from one another, right? So we're coming into these experiences with a lot of different uh, angles, perspectives, and so uh, I have a picture here, sorry it's a little dark, uh, but I have a picture of a current Creighton student that went down to South America over spring break to visit one of their friends that was studying abroad, and had a great experience, great learning uh, from that time outside of, the, outside of campus, outside of the classroom, and um, you know, that's something that's Maybe not everyone has that opportunity, but it could be as little as going on a break if you're from Chicago or a large metropolitan area to go home to small town Iowa with a, your roommate or your, your classmate and experience where, where they're coming from and what they're bringing into this college experience. The second thing that 
I think is a great opportunity to learn and to grow and become the best version of yourself is taking those student employment experiences and learning and growing from those. So just from admissions reports and everything, I know that two thirds of the freshman class think they're gonna be a doctor or go into healthcare profession, and that's great. But we know that along the way, you're gonna probably have a job on campus. So a vast majority of you, of you stood up thinking you're gonna have a job on campus. If you're working in the gym as a, as a supervisor or an official for intramurals, how do, you, how do you take those learning experiences and carry those over to being a nurse, a doctor, a lawyer, a business person? So is it learning customer service, critical thinking skills? Is it about learning how to diffuse uh, and, and manage conflict, diffuse an angry uh, patron or someone that you, you might be officiating the game and you got the call wrong, but call stands and how do you diffuse the situation when you have a law school student yelling in your face uh, or whatever the case may be. Um, so it's taking those outside of the classroom experiences and learning and growing from them and applying the bigger picture of how this can help you get that first internship or that first job or into professional school. Then lastly is how do you take care of yourself and stay fit and stay active? So uh, majority of you stood and said you participated in varsity athletics. Um, the only thing I'd like to point out about that is you're no longer going to have a coach yelling and screaming and telling you to get on the line and do conditioning drills, or you're not going to have three hours or six hours of practice for two or three different sports. So how do you take up and manage your time, take up that responsibility to get active on, on campus? If, if sports aren't your thing, do you try out a yoga class or do you try a group fitness class? Or are you just simply going on a walk up and down the mall um, or around campus with a friend to, to socialize, to de-stress, maybe talk about your day, and, and just be a little bit physically active and take care of yourself? Are you taking appropriate amounts of time and managing your time to get enough sleep? We know college students typically are pulling late nights and early mornings cramming for papers and tests and so forth. Are you using the right amount of time management to get the appropriate amount of sleep each night? And, and coping with your stresses and anxieties in the, in the right way. So I shared a, a picture of a intramural champ t-shirt for intramural volleyball as, as that last kind of image of staying fit, staying active, um, taking, taking care of yourself to be the best version of yourself. And with that, I'll turn it back over to Anya. All right, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, the experiences that, that Steve mentioned, as you saw, he highlighted uh, experiences that can have you engage professionally and learn those skills through employment. Um, activities to take care of your physical wellness, um, an opportunity to study abroad. Those three experiences might speak to you and you can say, yep, these are the things that I would like to do um, to complement my academic experience here at, at Creighton. Um, for some of you, you might be like, new country, new language, new traditions, away from home and campus and friends that I might meet, no thank you. Um, you might be interested in engaging in other ways uh, here at Creighton through leadership or clubs and orgs or internships or things of that nature. Um, but regardless of how you feel about the potential newness, I want to encourage you to lean into uh, potential discomfort. So if I ask you what your comfort zone is right now, what words come to mind? Shout them out. Bedtime. Okay, how, that, how might uh, your bedtime be challenged uh, as you enter Creighton? Will you be living on campus? Yep, okay. So what comes along with living on campus potentially? Homework, so homework might keep you up later than, than high school homework did. Uh, might you have a roommate? Might they have a different bedtime? Might that require some adjustment or negotiating or communication? Correct, all right. 
So now we're seeing this change and transition, and it's not just you um, navigating it, but it's, it's new people kind of coming together to try and figure out a new experience. What's another uh, potential thing that might put you out of your comfort zone a little bit? <laughs> Study abroad. Okay, can you tell me a little bit more about that? What, what about study abroad might put you out of your comfort zone? So different country, different language, different culture. Thank you. Um, what might you stand to learn and how might you grow from an experience like that? Feeling uncomfortable but saying, yeah, I'm going to check that out. So he's saying, you learn to say yes, even when it's not what you would normally do, which I think is quite wise. Um, and I think experiences and opportunities to learn a new way of life, uh, a new religious tradition, uh, you might find a new food that you like, um, or a new perspective on the world, and that contributes to your education. For families, um, this is also a transition and a change where you might become empty nesters or this might be your first uh, child to leave the house and, uh, and go live somewhere else, live on campus. Um, if we've got some commuters in the room, that might change schedules um, that you've been used to through the high school experience. Um, so I will encourage you to think about transition not, and change not just as an individual, but how you're engaging with new relationships and new need for different kinds of communication with families that you will have back home, with new people that you might be encountering. Um, and since I started framing this for you all um, in the previous slide with symbolism, I'm going to close it out with some symbolism. And I want to bring your attention to the picture behind me. Um, which is a group of, of folks walking forward toward the ocean. But what you might notice about this picture is that everybody's kind of doing it at their own pace, right? We've got some people forging straight ahead. Uh, we've got some folks looking back to what, what they're leaving behind. Uh, we've got someone in, in my, to my right right now, uh, squatting and filming the wave. So they're kind of studying what they're forging ahead into. All of these different poses, what's happening here might, might represent how you're feeling now, might represent how you might be feeling at a different point in time during your first year at Creighton. Um, but what I do want to point out and highlight, regardless of which one you fit or if you're not represented in this picture in terms of how you approach a new situation, a vast ocean, the unknown, um, it's that this is not a lone person walking ahead. This is a community, and Creighton is a community where you will have folks accompanying you uh, along your journey and helping to stretch you and challenge you and support you through uh, moments of transition or challenge or growth. So I hope that you will take the opportunity to engage with something new uh, within your first year at Creighton and that you will continue to challenge yourself, your perspective, um, and meet new folks that can teach you and help you find your more authentic you. So my sophomore year of high school, my English class had us write a paper on what kind of career we wanted to have when we grew up. So I went to the high school library. This was pre-internet. I found this book that was like four inches thick that had every career imaginable in the world. And each career had one page in the book that was a summary. And in the top right corner of each page, there was a box with some quick facts. One of the facts was salary range. So I just thumbed through the book until I saw six figures on the salary range. And that was a partner in an accounting firm. So I said, I guess I'm going to be a partner in an accounting firm when I grow up because I want to make lots of money. So I wrote the paper about that. I came to Creighton. I went into the College of Business. I started studying accounting. It was miserable. I started getting C's and D's, which was really challenging for me. I started not connecting with the material. With my free time, I checked out a retreat. So I took a weekend away to go think about what was going on inside for me. I gave up my spring break to go on a service and justice trip to Birmingham, Alabama, where I learned about new social issues and social justice issues going on in our world. I started to notice something happening inside of me. You have chosen to come to a Catholic Jesuit school. This school was, the foundation for this school was laid 500 years ago by a guy named St. Ignatius of Loyola. 
And a core value that he talks about is self-awareness. Here's the key. We all desire freedom. A lot of us are given freedoms just by the very fact of where and how we're born in this world. We had no choice in it. We have a lot of unearned privilege. But there's a different kind of freedom that we all desire, which is to find our true authentic self. And you might know this. There are times when you do not live from your authentic self and you feel unfree. But when you find your passion, when you find a way to really live out of where your heart space is, you will feel more free. So in campus ministry and lots of other places at Creighton, we are going to try to help you listen to what's going on internally to your heart, whatever that looks like. So to end our time, I'm going to walk us through a very simple practice of self-awareness. It's something that St. Ignatius started called the examen. I like to call it spiritual flossing. It's a really great way every day to stop very quickly and notice what's going on internally. So I'm going to guide the students through this. Families, you can just sit and take a breath because this afternoon a colleague of mine is going to lead you through a parent-specific examen. So for students, can you please set down anything you're holding? Paper, pen, folder, technology. For this practice, it's really helpful if you put both feet flat on the floor and just for these couple minutes, put your back straight up against the back of the chair. Somewhat straighten up your spine. Don't cross your arms, which kind of helps you open up your lungs and your heart space. I know some of you are chatting with your neighbors. Just for these couple minutes, be with yourself. Give yourself this opportunity. Here's how it's going to work. I'm going to have us close our eyes in a moment. You're going to check in with your breath. Then I'm going to have you use your memory to look back on the experiences that are leading you up to getting ready for college and notice what was most life-giving about those experiences. You'll take a moment in silence to just savor that, remember that, feel that. Then you're going to look back over those experiences that have been really challenging for you getting ready for college. You'll notice that for a moment, and then we're going to look toward what's going to happen when you show up in August. So all you have to do is sit and breathe and notice what's coming up for you and not judge it. I'm going to set the mic down. I'll ring the singing bowl, which will start our silence, and then I'll give you the prompts.
So that's just one practice. There will be many other opportunities as you come here as a student. Uh, thanks for your attention and your time. All right, so we're going to wrap up here. Um, we talked about three key concepts. One, first and foremost, be the best version of yourself. Seek out the opportunities and experiences that, that help you be the best version of yourself. How are you happy? How are you healthy uh, in your pursuit of academic excellence? How do you stretch outside of uh, your comfort zone to experience things, new things? Uh, and how do you use those new experiences to, to learn and grow? But a lot of that growth and understanding uh, and knowledge comes from that time that you take to reflect upon those experiences, uh, what, the things that you are learning in and out of the classroom. So thank you for staying with us today. If, if you're interested or have any questions or com comments, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Our contact information's up there. Otherwise, I'll turn it over to one of our summer preview leaders.